There's a couple of special problems that show up when we look at factoring quadratics. So for example, let's try to factor 8x squared minus 16x minus 64. So if we try to use the quadratic formula on the equation 8x squared minus 16x minus 64 equals 0, we start out by writing something like this, which gives us unpleasantly large numbers. Now, if we wanted to, we could grind our way through this, and it would be good for building character, tenacity, perseverance, but it would also be a lot of extra effort. So a useful idea to keep in mind is to try the easy things first. And in this case, one of the easy things is to recognize that every term has a factor of 8. And so we can remove this common factor and now we can try to factor x squared minus 2x minus 8 instead of our original polynomial. So we'll solve x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. And we'll get our solutions 4 or negative 2, which gives us the factors x minus 4, x plus 2. Or how about something like this, 4x squared minus 7x plus 12. So we'll solve 4x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. So we'll substitute our coefficients and do a little bit of arithmetic. And before we go on, it's useful to keep in mind two important ideas. First, computers can't think. They have to follow steps until the end, no matter how far away that end is. And the only reason that it works for computers is they can follow steps very quickly, very accurately. On the other hand, humans can and should think. And what that means is you can stop when you see the solution. In this case, while the quadratic formula requires us to subtract, we can look at this 49 minus 192 and immediately recognize that that's going to be a negative number and our solution will not be a real number. So we don't actually have to do the subtraction. We can stop here and say that we have no real solutions. And that's important because we want to find factors that are rational and a non-real factor isn't rational. And so we might say that since 4x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0 has no real solutions, our polynomial cannot be factored. We can run into a similar problem with x squared minus 3x minus 12. So solving x squared minus 3x minus 12 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. And we get down to this point. And once again, the important idea here is that computers can't think, people should. And the thing to notice here, 57 is not a perfect square, so whatever the solutions are, they are not going to be rational, so the corresponding factors won't be rational either. And so again, we can conclude, since our equation has no rational solutions, our polynomial has no rational factors.